scientists have revealed groundbreaking footage of what happens to a brain during a stroke. After a stroke, fluid floods into the brain and causes the organ to swell. And as the organ swells, important structures begin pushing up against the walls of the skull. So the structures that are important to breathing and regulating heartbeat, etc., cetera, um, stop functioning properly. Since the swelling is a typical complication of stroke, scientists have long tried to mitigate it or understand why exactly it's happening. And the assumption was that this excess fluid, this excess water, was being drawn from the blood that flows through the veins and arteries in the brain. Now a new study suggests that this actually isn't the case. About 10% of the fluid that's found within the cranial cavity is actually cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF. This fluid flows nearby the veins and arteries in a separate tube that kind of encircles that vasculature. So if you picture a length of wire and then a copper tube around it, um, that copper tubing would be this extra vasculature. Normally, the CSF flows through the brain and picks up metabolic wastes and toxins to flush out of the organ. So it does this kind of cleaning cycle. But after stroke, this fluid actually contributes to damaging effects. Previously, researchers weren't able to watch a stroke as it unfolded in, say, a mouse model of the disease. But in this new study, researchers figured out how to do just that. And what they were able to see was that following the onset of a stroke, the neurons in the brain that usually send out electrical and chemical signals begin to short circuit, in essence. So these waves of abnormal electrical activity sweep through the brain. While this is happening, that electrical activity causes muscles along the arteries to contract abnormally. So as these arteries contract, they create excess space where there wasn't space before. And this pressure pulls more CSF into the empty space in the tube. The CSF is followed by a flood of water because it's very salty and sodium attracts water wherever it goes. In a mouse model, this kind of domino effect can happen within minutes of a stroke onset. And then later on, the blood-brain barrier, the tissue that lines vessels in the brain, um, also becomes permeable, which increases swelling even more. With this new understanding of how CSF actually contributes to that initial swelling in the brain right after stroke, scientists think they could eventually develop treatments that stop or slow that swelling.